Hey, 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 how's it going, everyone? We're here today with the Super Saiyan Trunks. Man, what is that name? It's so long. Infinite Latent Super Power. Uh, so yeah, this is essentially a very budget re-release of the uh, original uh, Super Saiyan Trunks. Who I do have here, which we can uh, have a comparison at later uh, for the main differences between these two releases. Uh, so yeah, this month we also do have the third from Freezer, who is the premium bundle release, whereas this is the retail release for this month. Uh, Freezer is shipping out from the 25th in Japan, uh, but it seems like he is already out in America. So that's really cool for those that ordered direct from the USA premium bundle site. Um, however, coming back to this release here, um, same gold finish as the uh, recent Vegeta release as well, so it's pretty cool. Um, but for the box itself, on the back, well, you know, it's the standard design, no deviation from anything recent, uh, with a nice section of images on the back showcasing, you know, his accessories and what he can do. Uh, so yeah, anyway, let's just pop him out of the box and take a closer look at what he does come with. So straight away, if you have the original release, you'll be noticing that you know we're missing that base head because this is a very stripped down release. We have Trunks himself in the center uh, with the neutral, I think it's neutral frowning face on him already with teeth gritting and mouth wide open shouting face. He does have the folded arms and then we have the finger spread and the, you know, the standard martial arts grip. Uh, so you, know, you can get him into his, you know, signature attack pose, um, maybe very cool stoic look with the folded arms, um, but regardless of the look, you are limited to the Super Saiyan here, unless you have the original, in which case you can, uh, you know, switch those heads around. Uh, but yeah, let's pop them out and we can take a look at the finish, um, especially compared to the original release. Okay, so we have both the new trunks here and the original behind on the turntable spinning around. And straight away, besides obviously the super shiny golden here on the new trunks, which, you know, the original has that base matte uh, yellow with the orange highlights. Um, the main difference you'll notice is the color in the, um, his um, battle armor. Uh, the original one has a lot more of a muted, uh, slightly desaturated uh, color, which leans a bit more towards the purple side. Uh, whereas the new one has this very deep, rich, uh, dark blue color, which matches beautifully with the recent Vegeta release here. Uh, so the coloring for the uh, new trunks does match up with the recent Vegeta release um, for both the suit and the hair color. So that's really nice. So if you have the original Vegeta, um, grabbing the new trunks to pair with them is definitely a great choice because you know, they look beautiful together. Uh, but yeah, you know, like <clears throat> I'll probably touch this but I'll, you know, I'll touch on this more in the pros and cons, uh, but you know, this is more of a side grade opposed to an upgrade in terms of a release, uh, which is, you know, great for long-term collectors, and it does give nuclears a option, at least a cheaper option, which is great. Uh, but yeah, the, you know, the overall coloring for all the armor is subtly different, opposed to the white on the original. We have a more of a gray color for the boots and gloves as well, which is nice. Uh, so it isn't really just that real basic looking color, which is great. Uh, so yeah, let's pop them off a turntable and we can take a look at the articulation for those that maybe don't have the original or haven't seen that one before. And then we'll have a close look at the faces uh, before jumping into the pros and cons. So starting with the head, uh, just one thing I do want to point out is that this front bang, I mean, it is pretty flexible, but you know, it is a weaker point on the head. So if you are grabbing it, do be careful where you are grabbing because you don't want to risk breaking that bang. Uh, but you know, the overall head will still around beautifully, which is nice. Um, the forward articulation isn't too bad. Um, and going back, it does get hindered by his ponytail. Um, but you know, overall it's not too bad and he can definitely strike those kind of moody, angsty poses which Trunks has in the Android Saga. Uh, the shoulder range is nice. Overall, the design of the same arm I think works really well. Um, and the shoulder joint, the butterfly joints will come out and around definitely a little bit further compared to other figures, which is nice. Uh, so you can get some decent range of motion on the front there despite this being a older figure. You know, the original release, I can't remember what it was, maybe 2017, give or take? Maybe it was actually older. I need to double check actually on the release dates for this later, uh, but definitely not a recent release. 
VR elbow range is pretty similar to that of Vegeta since VR glove will limit it a little bit. But you know we do have the bicep swivel as usual. Uh, the upper chest joint here, this one can lift up slightly uh, which will help extend the range of motion. I mean it's not much um, but you do get a little bit of forward and back motion there. And more importantly you can go down on the diagonal uh, direction which is nice. Uh, a little bit more motion there would be good. Uh, but it'll probably need quite a bit of a redesign to allow that. Now the centre torso here can swivel around a little bit. Uh, you can probably force it to go all the way around. Uh, but since it isn't oval, it does get limited a little bit. Though, uh, for the, um, you know, what you need to strike with this figure, it is ample at least. Uh, the leg articulation, uh, not as good as recent figures, it does kind of get a bit limited, but you can kind of angle it around uh, to get a little bit more motion out of it, though it would look a little bit funny depending on the angle. Uh, we do have the upper uh, thigh swivel, the knee joint is all standard and nice. Uh, the peg and the foot is quite good actually. Uh, it's definitely a little bit bigger than some other figures, so you can get some motion in that joint in there, which is nice and can swivel all the way around, which is good. So, you know, Compared to like the, was it, the Super Vegeta, which is horrible for the feet, uh, at least the uh, tricks here works really well. So it doesn't really hinder poses. Um, you know, the usual toe tip point of articulation. You know, and this is the older um, design body uh, for the most part, so nothing really spectacular or out of ordinary, especially since this is a re release. Though for an older feet, you know, it still holds up really well and it looks nice. I think that's the main thing, the uh, same armor it lends itself really well to kind of a figure form. Um, even with a bit more of a limited articulation, it isn't too bad. So jumping into the faces now, the uh, base neutral one is nice. All the lines are crisp and clean and the coloring is good too, especially the gold kind of metallic -y look for his eyebrows. And to change the faceplate, all you have to do is pop off those front bangs and that will give you access to the faceplate. Now the second faceplate here is the teeth gritting one and this one I think is really nice. It definitely has that, you know, angry, annoyed look to it. Um, and you know, the extra lines above the eyebrows really brings forth the emotion, uh, which is really good. Okay, so the third and final face is that fully mouth open screaming one, which is really nice again. All that emotion is coming through beautifully and the color separation from the mouth to the teeth to the tongue is great. And I'm really digging the gold metallic paint for the eyebrows. It definitely captures the light really well and gives it a nice little sparkle which pairs beautifully with that shiny metallic hair. So the finger spread hands work really good for doing his uh, main attack, especially when paired with that full on shouting uh, face. It'd be really cool to have a key blast to put here to, for him to be uh, blasting out. Yeah, you know, maybe something like the uh, <laughs> skin of finger here. Some, you know, some really big chunky key blasts. I think that would be awesome if Tamashi could release some. And then pairing in that uh, teeth gritting face with a martial arts grip hand and a closed fist is really cool. You know, I'm actually quite partial to this pose. I might use something like this in my display eventually along with him. Um, I mean, he does have the arms crossed look as well, which is you know, pretty iconic for uh, trunks, but I think that kind of suits the base hair look a little bit more. So maybe I'll update the uh, pose that I used for the original one, which is, uh, which is similar to this one here, but in the more of a flying pose on the stand, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I might switch this one up with the base hair eventually. Uh, for those of you that have the original and are getting the new one, how do you plan on posing or displaying them? Are you going to keep the Super Saiyan look for both or are you going to mix and match? Okay, so we have uh, trunks here on the turntable with his arms folded. It wasn't too bad to put on compared to some other releases, but as you know, it's not really an accessory that I'm too fond of. Always kind of a little bit annoying to put on the figures, um, but at least this one here wasn't as bad as others. Uh, we have obviously the brand new Vegeta here as well for a bit of a comparison with the hair, and then the original trunks as well. Now, as we jump into the pros and cons, uh, the first pro is the fact that this new trunks matches up with the recent Vegeta, which is awesome. Uh, so if you are new to collecting, at least this gives you a way to get two badass looking figures that you know match color-wise. Um, you know, and also the fact that it is a cheap, Release, yeah, what was it like 3,500 ish yen? Really cheap. 
if they had added on the other accessories from the original, like the uh, additional head and so forth, that price would have gone up. So, in, you know, and as a long-term collector, I'm happy that they didn't. Yeah, personally, I'm happy to keep that with just the original, uh, but I know that is a little bit disappointing for a new collector. So that is a bit of a con and a pro, more of a con if you are obviously new to collecting. Um, you know, the colour, I like the shiny colour, it's something different. Though, you know, I'm always going to come back to the colouring for the originals as my favourite. If I could only pick one, that is what I would go for. But I do like the fact that we do get a little bit of variety with the hair colouring these days. You know, especially these ones, you know, it does suit the powered up look. But I do feel like the Vegeta one here is nicer because it's a little bit more subtle. Whereas this one is definitely leaning more towards gold. Um, whereas this one is a bit more on the yellow end. It could be a little bit hard to see on camera. Um, but definitely in person you can see the subtle difference um, depending on the light actually. Uh, but you know, overall pretty similar. Um, we only have a little bit con, but you know, this one's a little bit hard because this is a re-release, uh, but the sizing for the Trunks vs Vegeta, you know, a little bit off. Um, for most part, scaling doesn't bother me though in these figures, because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they kind of have to uh, mix and match the scaling a little bit, because uh, the sizes do vary quite a bit in the media, and they have to kind of pick something that works well in figure form. Uh, but, you know, it would be nice to get, you know, Trunks get a little bit taller, a little bit bigger though, uh, to pair in with Vegeta. Uh, but you know, articulation, everything like that, you know, it's a rumor, so I'm not going to dive too deeply into pros and cons there. It still holds up pretty well for an old release, and you know, overall, it is a solid pickup for any collector. Uh, so definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about this release, if you got it, if you passed, you know, and why that is. Uh, it's always fun to read those comments. And you know, from my trunks for in the future, what would you like to see? Obviously we had the, was it a boy from the future one recently, which was, you know, a badass rendition of him. You know, probably not a perfect release for the year, but it's still really cool. I think besides that one and this version of Trunks, maybe you know, the movie Trunks when he's a bit more of a team would be really cool, or definitely Bojack release. I think those two are definitely the Trunks versions which I would love to see. I know some people come up with a powered up version for this one, but yeah, at least for me, uh, easy pass, at least for now. It's, Definitely super low on the priority. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below which Trunks version you are definitely looking forward to next. Uh, but yeah, uh, for reviews going forward, uh, keep an eye out for Third Form Freezer um, sometime next week, I believe. Uh, so not too much longer here in Japan. Uh, but yeah, anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. I uh, will be checking out some photos for these figures, um, hopefully on Insta over the coming days if I get the chance to take some. Uh, a little bit busy in real life currently, so I do apologize for the lack of photos lately. Uh, but yeah, do like, subscribe for future reviews and all that. And until next time, cheers.